Hi, it's Alicia from The Pretty Brown Eye Reader. I am coming today with my TBR for March Mystery Madness. I will link the host information below as well as links to the Goodreads group as well as the Twitter account for March Mystery Madness. This is a, a read along that I participated in last year. I am not a big mystery reader so it helped push my reading last year and so I'm looking forward to participating again this year. There are several different challenges. I know that uh, with my work schedule and everything I wouldn't be able to probably complete all the different challenges. So I have picked out three challenges I was very much interested in and have three books to fulfill those challenges. The first challenge that I chose was the true crime challenge and that is to read a book about a true crime. So I have chosen Hannah Mary Tabs and the Disembodied Torso. This is a crime that happened prior to modern era and um, it involves a mixed race woman in Philadelphia in the 1800s and this torso that appears and the author actually follows the detective's notes from that era and the trial. So I'm looking very uh, much forward to it. I am a true crime fanatic. So I watch all these these crimes, but I always, I shouldn't say admire, but I always am curious about people that commit crimes prior to this modern day era because it's not necessarily easy but you see different types of crimes every day on TV, internet, all the different media sources we have now. But how does a mixed race woman come about murdering somebody in the 1800s? Hmm. I guess I'll find out when I read it. <laughs> so the next um, challenge I found was to um, read a book that involves a juvenile or kid detective and I found this book it is called True and Nail and it's by G. Neri and um, the book is based off the real life friendship of Harper Lee and um, Truman Capote and so it's set in Alabama and it has all kind of little mysteries that occur in this little small town and True and Nell um, saw these little mysteries. So I'm looking very much forward to it. Last year I read um, Encyclopedia Brown so I want to do something different. So I, so I found this and I'm looking forward to reading it. The last book that I am going to read is an author that is new to me and this is an author I've had on my TBR especially after seeing so many people on booktube talk about her. So the um, third challenge that I'm going to attempt is In the Woods by Tana French and that is to read an author that is new to me. So I've never read anything by Tana French and so I'm looking very much forward to getting into that. This book is a little bit thick. So that's why I don't think I should add more than that to my TBR. Are you participating in March Mystery Madness? Please let me know about your videos. I love to watch and comment. Um, thanks for watching and have a great day.